open After Effects and create a new composition. Rename it as Warner Bros. Intro. Set it to 1920 by 1080 pixels and 24 frames per second and the duration to 8 seconds. Set the background color to black and click OK. Right click and create a new solid layer. I am renaming it as Dark Cyan. You can choose your own color but I prefer Dark Cyan to match the Warner Bros. intro. So the choice is yours and click OK. We need another solid layer so click right click and click new and click solid and rename it to black and set the color to black and click OK. Both these layers are for the backgrounds so place the dark cyan on top of the black. So now click the rectangle tool and change it to ellipse tool and double click it. So you can see a perfect mask created. And we have to increase the feather value to around 800 by pressing F on your keyboard. Now change your mask to something like this. So we leave a little bit of space for the letter box to be applied. And then select both the layers and press U to create more space. And select both the layers and click pre-compose and rename it as background layer. Click OK to make a single layer. We are going to work in 3D space. So change one view to two view horizontal. Now change the zoom value to whatever necessary for your computer screen. Drag the cloud one layer to the Warner Bros intro composition. Now we are going to adjust the scale value as it is a bit large than the usual. Decrease the scale value to around 50 and click the 3D box icon to make it a 3D layer. Now on the right side you can see the camera view and on the left side you can see the top angle view or the eagle eye view. Arrange it to something like this. So it is actually a forward and backward camera roll. So it requires a lot of cloud layers on mainly Z axis differentiations. So let's drag the cloud to layer and then change the value to something and click the 3D box icon to make it 3D and bring it to bring it down in the Z axis. So you can see that it is a little bit forward from the first cloud layer. So do the same for all the cloud layers but the results are so perfect at last. And I recommend doing it a bit more so it looks much more realistic. I duplicate the layers and change the rotation to make it different from the other clouds. Now you can see a lot of cloud layers are there so select everything and then we are going to pre-compose it. Rename it as cloud layer 1 and click OK. After pre-composing change it to a 3D layer. As you can see it is now a 3D layer. So we are going to add more clouds to it. So we are going to duplicate the cloud layer 1 by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. And we are going to change only its Z axis. The Z axis is one basically for the camera roll forward and backward. So we are going to change the orientation of the X axis to around 180 to make it look unique than the other cloud layers. You can increase the scale value to something like this so that it fits in the camera and looks a bit different. Now reduce the opacity to around 40% so the clouds may look darker and much more grayish. So decrease the opacity however you want to to however it looks much more dark as you prefer and make some room. Now we are going to import the logo. We are going to import the logo as given in the project files, link in the description to download it. Place it on top of all the layers so it looks away from the clouds. Now we are going to pre-compose it into logo comp and then move all attributes into the new composition. Check that and click OK. So we can see the logo layer and change it to 3D so as we are working in the 3D space. I am reducing the scale value to around 65% to be more precise as it is in the original Warner Bros intro. You can change it to 65% or you can change it to anything however the size you like to be. So now select all the layers and press U to make some room. Now create a new camera. I am going for the 15mm preset on one node camera. This can obtain a uh, wide angle lens that is why it is 15 millimeter so you can see we are going to only change the z axis of the camera 
by using the z-axis we can create a forward and backward camera effect like a trolley camera effect so you can see that this is so, so enlarged the first cloud layer is very enlarged we are going to duplicate it and then we are going to make changes in the z-axis value so we are going to keep the other cloud layer beyond the camera view so it looks much more enlarged and realistic now you see there are three cloud layers and two are different and one is the same so we're going to change the z axis rotation you can leave it as a rotation or you can change it to 180 degree to make it perfect i'm slightly rotating it to around 167 degrees and then increasing the scale value to look a bit unique than the other clouds now let's create a camera animation. Press B to open position of the camera and set a keyframe. And then go around about 6 seconds to make the camera animation look a bit elongated. So now decrease the z-axis value so that it gives a back roll camera animation. Bring it to the original size where it was at the beginning. Now you can look how the camera animation is. Now automatically it creates a keyframe. Now go to the beginning of the timeline and you can see the last cloud layer. This last cloud layer scale size becomes small as the camera comes backwards. So we have to create a keyframe animation for it by increasing the scale value at last so it doesn't scale down as the camera moves behind. So select both the keyframe and either you can press F9 or you can right click and create uh, easy keyframe by going to the keyframe assistant. Now you can look how the animation is as the back layer of the cloud doesn't go small as the camera comes behind. But the cloud doesn't move so we are going to move the clouds by selecting the layer and create the position keyframe. Select the keyframe at about 4 seconds and more around about 2 seconds and we're going to change the x value of the position the x axis so it moves towards the right as you can see the cloud always moves to the right or the left so it gives a natural kind of animation so i just scale the cloud value so it doesn't move away from the target borders so this is how it will be at last you can see that the cloud moves but stops at a point where the camera also stops so we're going to change a little bit of uh, the time being in the keyframe so it looks as it starts and ends and perfectly the animation goes on without any stop so now we just change the timing of the keyframe and now it looks perfect as we can see the clouds move along with the camera and also moves without the camera effect so it's like the wind continuously blowing, blowing around Now we are going to add a lightning effect. Drag it from the project, the source files are the link in the description so you can download it. And put it in between some of the cloud layers and set the transparency values to something like this. So it doesn't start with dark lightning. So and then add a lens flare. And I'm going to change it to screen. The lens flare doesn't have the background. So it looks pretty much inbuilt. So now we are going to set it to around 2 seconds where the Warner Bros logo comes around. So I'm going to change the opacity settings and set a simple keyframe so it just moves out when it goes on. So I'm just changing it to around 30% after the Warner Bros logo is revealed and set the keyframe to easy ease type so it looks perfect. Now we are going to add light sweep. This effect is a very good effect and we're going to add it to the logo comp. Now you can see there is a small light sweep there and we're going to change the rotation of it so it does from the other side. So there is the rotational wheel and I'm just setting it to around 200 degrees so it looks from the left to right as it is in the Warner Bros logo. So now we're going to increase the width of the light sweep effect so it has a spread of cover area and slightly increasing its sweep intensity now you can see it 
moves a bit perfect. Now we're going to set the keyframe for it by using the effect in the center. We are going to use the stopwatch icon present in the center. But before that, get to the timeline of 6 seconds and click the stopwatch icon. Now get around about 8 seconds and then move the center to around this. So if you move it just like this, so it creates an animation with perfect thing. Now I select all the layers and pre-compose it and call it as the main composition. Now we're going to add a little more bit good effect. Go to colorize. In that you can search for about sky blue which gives the perfect color as it is in the main Warner Bros intro. So we don't need to change much of the settings. So what we are going to do is just change the start color to something like a dark cyan. So I'm going to choose it from the logo itself and it looks pretty much good as now it is. So we didn't do much of a color correction, this is just color grading into something. The color correction will be done at last to make it much more cinematic. Now I drag and drop the letterbox layer so it looks perfect. And this is how it will be at last.